Hey, what's up guys? This is John Spear with Warhammer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your multimeter to check your car battery. Alright, so let's just jump right into it. You know, no big spiel or anything. We'll kind of take a look at it. So what you're first you're going to need is a multimeter. So, you know, I use Fluke Tools. This particular model is going to be the 393. It is a spectacular thing. Um, you don't have to have this kind of model. This is just what I prefer. So we'll get it up all set up. So first things first, red's your positive, black's your negative. Red's your positive, black's your negative. You make sure that your terminals are good to go. Put in there. Okay. So one thing that we're going to want to test right off the bat is just how many, you know, volts it's getting. So what you're going to want to do is it's in the off position. You're going to go to this guy, the V with a couple of lines and then the straight line. That means DC power. And then on this particular meter, it'll show you right there that you're in DC power. Okay. So we'll move the camera, relocate it. Set her up all nice. Right. Live in Albuquerque, so it's a little dusty. Sucker pin down as best we can. And we'll have the meter right here. So red goes to red. And black goes to black. So right now we're reading about 12.8. Alright. So this truck was on just previously. You know, you kind of want to test it a couple of hours afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go inside the truck and get all of that extra random voltage. So how you do that is you're gonna turn on your lights for a little bit. And when I mean a little bit, I mean approximately five minutes. So we'll just double check that these are on right now, which now it's saying it's on. Right, right there. And then I'll catch back with you in about five minutes. Okay? Alright guys, so it's been roughly about five minutes now. So, we're sitting at the good old 12.1 currently. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys the state of your charge, right? And honestly, this would probably be a little bit lower if we didn't just drive the car. So just to give you guys an example. So here we go. Here's the state of the charge. So if that's 12.1 currently, then we're sitting about 25% roughly. It, like I said, I honestly believe it would be a little bit lower if it wasn't 4 um, what we're doing so um, that kind of explains why the truck has been having a hard time starting um, it takes like the second or third time to start it it just has a you know a difficult time and we live in New Mexico so it's a solid 55 degrees outside and that's where the cur the car is currently parked outside so it's 55 degrees I mean it's a little chilly but it is not enough to uh, you know give this huge battery any issues so you know I kind of suspected this was the issue and just wanted to kind of do a quick YouTube video on how to test it um, there is one more test that we could do just to confirm everything um, which is the the minimum voltage test that we can do 
So on your meter, you have this button right here called min max. Um, what we could do is we could press that. All right, so now it's recording all the minimum and maximum voltages that are going on at the current moment. So what we'll do is we'll turn on the truck, see what it gets to. I would imagine it's probably gonna get to around 13, 14 because of the alternator. Um, if it kicks over the first time, which it should, you know, it, it has been doing whatever, but we have been draining the battery, the lights. So we'll check it out. We'll turn it on, see what happens, but it should be around 13, 14. And then um, the minimum of what that is, just to confirm all our hypothesis that the battery might be, you know, bad. So I'm going to leave that in place right there and turn on the truck and we'll see where we're at. the alternator running we're looking at a 14.5 right so what we're gonna want to do now is up here in the corner there's a little hold button so we'll just uh, hold that for a couple seconds um, press hold so now it's holding all this volt all this uh, information in it for this next thing and then how you scroll through it is 14.5 is the max, if you can see that, the minimum is 10.9, okay? The average is 12.8. So if we looked at the minimum, I mean, right there should give you the, off the list that we have there, that it doesn't have enough juice to do that off of. Um, sorry, I was showing you guys the wrong thing. So the battery temperature is going to be 70 or above, which currently it's about 80 degrees, so 9.6. So it's barely got enough to kick it on. You know what I'm saying? Barely enough juice to do what it needs to do. So... What that in turn tells me is that the hypothesis is correct and the battery is dead and we are going to be replacing it. Um, very little simple test that you can do with a multimeter. If you do get a multimeter, I do suggest Fluke. It is a great tool. I have multiple of them um, being that I'm an electrician. But you don't have to be an electrician to own one of these. They do help out for everyday simple stuff like checking your car battery, checking your regular batteries, and all of the in between, all your electrical needs. It is a safe thing that you can do and to test things before you start working on them. So I really do suggest getting a multimeter for just everyday household stuff. Turn off those lights. And then we're gonna pack up, get a brand new battery, and then go from there, guys. So, my name is John Spear. I hope this video was a little bit helpful. I really do. Um, and, you know, I appreciate you guys spending a couple minutes with me learning a new thing. Until, uh, until next time, hope you guys have a great day. Catch you later.